Here in the i button and the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Welcome to video number seven, and in this video, we are going to see, we are going to start a new topic that is Fourier cosine transform. So before you start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel, and if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, Fourier transform with your friends. Okay, in th it is in this way only you can support me. So let us see. Okay, let's say you have given, okay, you have been given any function f of x, okay, in that case we need to find the Fourier cosine transform for the function f of x, okay. So, the function fc of s, okay, fc of s means Fourier sine, Fourier cosine transform, okay. If the subscript c is used, then it is Fourier cosine transform or if s subscript is used here, then it is Fourier sine transform, okay. The function fcs, that is Fourier cosine transform is defined by yes fcs that is fc of s that is Fourier cosine transform is equals to integration 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx okay yes this is called okay this is called Fourier cosine transform okay yes the function fc of s okay fc of s means Fourier cosine transform is defined by yes fc of s equals to integration 0 to infinity f of x cos sx dx this is called Fourier cosine transform for the function f of x and the limit is from 0 to infinity. Okay. Yes. Now, let us say the reverse is given. Okay. That is, you want function f of x and Fourier cosine transform is given to you. Okay. In that case, what we need to put to find the value for f of x, that is, the function f of x defined by f of x equals to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity fc of s okay it means Fourier cosine transform okay Fourier cosine transform into cos sx ds okay yes here if we use this formula then we will find the function f of x okay so this part is called inverse of inverse Fourier cosine transform of fcs okay fcs means Fourier cosine transform okay so you need to remember these two formula because both the formulas are very 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 important and if you go to the i button okay this is video number seven in video number eight we are going to solve this problem in video number nine we are going to solve this problem and in video number 10 we are going to solve this problem okay all three questions are very important but if you ask me then first and third question are most important problems okay first and third number problem okay in video number eight you are going to see this problem in video number nine you are going to see this problem and in video number ten you are going to see this problem if you solve these three problems okay if you solve or if you practice these three problems i'm sure that this topic that is for your question tra transform part is completely yes over for you okay so let us start solving each and every problem one by one okay